Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, we will talk about errors in PHP. Suppose guys, you are creating a record of a class, students, and the number of students are more than 100 or one, more than 150. Here are two ways to create a record. First one is using a simple approach, in which you will make different different variables for different different students, like this. Student 1, student 2, Cameron, student 3, student 4 and so on. So you can see this approach is very lengthy and it will take so much time and if you want to edit anything it, it will be very complex for you. Means it will be very time consuming. So in order to get rid of this problem you can use concept of arrays. Guys array is same type of data means it can store more than uh, one value in a single variable we can say on the screen you can say one variable is only you holding one value so in using arrays we can store multiple values in a single variables but the condition is the variable the value should be of same type suppose if i am entering string then the value should be all the value should be of string type if i am entering integer value then the, all the values should be of integer type so that is why array is called homogeneous type of data means same type of data means we will use we will store same type of data in arrays <coughs> let me show you so I will remove it firstly I create a variable and I will give it a name of students now I wanna tell you I'm gonna tell you that how can you declare an array firstly you need to write keyword array this is the keyword and then two brackets and in between these two brackets you will enter the values you can either enter it inside double quotes or single quotes it depends upon your choice and you need to separate it using comma suppose I'm writing first name is Rishabh second is Cameron third is Nathan fourth is Maria so these are the four variables, sorry, four values, which we have stored in a single variable and the name of the variable is students. So you can see it saves a lot of time because we don't need to use different, different variable for different, different name. Now, how you will, will, how you will print this? If you will simply print this like this, students, go to the browser and refresh. You will see, you will, it will return a thing it will just return that this is an array so if you want to print it on the screen what do you need to do guys I'm gonna tell you it is printed with the help of index values index you can say like if you want to check the index firstly we will talk about print r function it's print underscore r and in between these two brackets you need to enter the variable name and you need to refresh now you can see it is showing the detail of each index means at you know that every index start from zero so on zero index the value is Rishabh on index one the value is Cameron on the index two the value is Nathan and in on index three the value is Maria so if you want to print it you need to use index as well like this echo students then in between this you need to enter uh, enter the index value so if I'll enter 0 you will see it will print Rishabh if I'll hit 1 camera 2 Nathan 3 Maria so with this you can check the index of each value so this is at index, index 0 1 2 3 so guys, with this you can understand the arrays are used to store more more than one value in a single variable. Guys, I want to tell you the arrays are so arrays are of three types: index arrays, the second one is associative arrays, and third one is multi-dimensional arrays. The first one, index arrays are these arrays which we have used in this video. So in the next video, we will talk about associative arrays.
so oh, and guys after two or three videos I will tell you that how can you use these arrays with for loop which will give you a better idea and it will clear all of your doubts that how can you use for loops with arrays so guys if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial